Have you ever peeked at an MRI or CT scan and wondered hmm. how you're supposed to know what you're looking at? Well, it's not as difficult as it might first appear. Clinicians use certain landmarks to guide them as they analyse the images. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the major structures scientists and clinicians use to orient themselves in coronal sections of the brain, especially when taken through the thalamus. So today, we're going to be exploring the structures visible in a coronal section of the brain. What is a coronal section of the brain, you ask? Well, a coronal, or frontal section, is a vertical slice of the brain, which divides the brain into anterior and posterior parts. And of course, we'll be making our cut at the level of the thalamus. First, we'll discuss grey matter structures, including the thalamus, the chordate nucleus, the lenticular nucleus, and the substantia nigra. Then we'll look at white matter structures running through the brain, including the corpus callosum, the fornix, and the white matter tracts travelling between the brain and the spinal cord. Next, we'll look at some of the named cortical regions visible in this coronal section. And finally, we'll identify a few additional structures, the lateral ventricles, the optic tracts, and the mammillary bodies. But firstly, let's get oriented. Remember, we're looking at the brain as if we're standing in front of a person looking at their face. This is superior, and this is inferior. This, of course, is the midline of the brain, and these are the left and right sides, which are opposite to the viewers since the subject is looking towards us. Right and left is always relative to the subject. Parts of the brain appear lighter than others. This reflects what we call grey matter and white matter. The brain is made up of neurons and other supporting cells, known as glial cells. Grey matter is a collection of neuronal cell bodies, while white matter is a collection of myelinated axons bringing messages away from the cell bodies. And just like in our illustration here, white and grey matter can be distinguished in MRI images. Let's first take a look at some grey matter structures. As we just said, grey matter is made up of cell bodies. This is where neurons make synapses and the brain integrates their signals. So let's begin at the centre of our illustration at the thalamus, which is the most major landmark visible in this particular section. The thalamus, in green here, is the largest nucleus in the brain. It is often nicknamed the traffic control centre of the brain. It receives and distributes information between the peripheries and higher centres of the brain, such as the cerebral cortices. Basically, it tells many of our nerves where they should go or when they can and can't go. It's therefore involved in sensory and motor functions in addition to sleep, consciousness, attention, and memory. The thalamus is bilateral in structure. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.